to a CBS4 investigation involving a member of Congress and a possible conflict of interest that critics say is not illegal but doesn't look good. Now, this involves Congressman Mario Diaz Ballard and his brother Lincoln's work on behalf of two foreign governments. CBS4's Jim DeFeedy has the story. Thank you for the opportunity to be here. This was Miami Congressman Mario Diaz Ballard in 2014 taking part in a video conference with the president of Taiwan, Ma Ying Zhao. Uh, but more importantly, uh, Mr. President, let me uh, thank you uh, for your leadership, for your steadfast uh, leadership. You are a trusted, uh, reliable friend. The comments by Diaz Ballard were not surprising. He has been a longtime advocate for Taiwan. He is the co-chair of the Congressional Taiwan Caucus and through his position on the powerful House Appropriations Committee has pushed issues important to Taiwan, including efforts to sell them advanced U.S. fighter jets, even though the move has been opposed by the last two presidential administrations. Mr. President, I cannot tell you, first place, how much I cherish the relationship, uh, how much uh, I uh, cherish also, however, the, the, not only between the United States and the Republic of China and Taiwan, but frankly, uh, the fact that I've gotten to uh, work with you, to know you, to trust you. The Taiwanese government has given Diaz Ballard three all expense paid trips to Taiwan. These disclosure forms, filed by Diaz Ballard, show he accepted a six day trip to Taiwan in 2009, a six day trip in 2011, and a five day trip in 2014, with Taiwan picking up the tab. And since 2012, Diaz Bullard's brother, Lincoln, has been paid more than $1.3 million to be a lobbyist for Taiwan in Congress. I think it gives a terrible appearance. Adav Nadi is the senior director for the Campaign Legal Center, a nonpartisan Washington watchdog group. Nadi and other experts said none of what the Diaz Bullards are doing is illegal, but it is unusual. If you're a constituent of the congressman, you have to wonder when he takes actions that benefit these foreign entities, is he doing it in the interest of his constituents, or is he doing it because his brother is getting paid millions of dollars? Mario diaz Bogart's spokeswoman issued a statement that said in part, while communist China bullies businesses, international organizations, and other countries in an attempt to isolate Taiwan, the U.S. Congress has stood firmly with Taiwan for decades. The congressman has long supported strong ties and trade with America's free and democratic allies, and accordingly counts the independent and resilient people of Taiwan among the United States' most valued friends. Taiwan wasn't Lincoln's only client. Lincoln, who served in Congress for 18 years, also represented the interests of the Kingdom of Morocco from 2013 through 2017. Over that time, Lincoln was paid $1.2 million for his work helping Morocco. And as with Taiwan, Mario diaz Bullard has also been a major advocate for Morocco in Congress, once serving as the co-chair of the Congressional Morocco Caucus. Mario diaz Bullard's spokeswoman said, To be absolutely clear, former Congressman Lincoln diaz Bullard does not lobby Congressman Mario diaz Bullard. He never has, and he never will. There is a passage in the lobbying contract signed by Lincoln diaz Bullard with both Taiwan and the group representing Morocco that Lincoln would not lobby his brother. The contract reads, both parties understand and agree that Western Hemisphere strategies will not engage in advocacy before U.S. Representative Mario diaz Bullard or his staff. Western Hemisphere strategies is Lincoln's lobbying company. A search of social media found several instances in recent years where Mario and Lincoln diaz Bullard were photographed together with officials from Taiwan. On September 15, 2016, Mario diaz Bullard posted this picture on Twitter. Pleased to have met with the new Taiwanese ambassador to U.S., Stanley Cow. Look forward to working with you. He then tagged at Tikro USA, which is the Taiwanese agency that pays Lincoln. Other photos show Mario and Lincoln sitting on a platform together with other members of Congress at events celebrating Taiwan. There is no evidence that Lincoln has lobbied his brother. Nadi, however, says the photos of the two brothers at events together raise concerns. It shows that that contractual provision has no real effect. If you can sign a contract saying, I will not lobby my brother on behalf of the Taiwanese government, and then accompany your brother to a, uh, an official event with the head of the Taiwanese government, it demonstrates how little that contractual provision means.
Now, we also reached out to Lincoln Diaz Ballard for comment. His assistant said Lincoln Diaz Ballard does not believe his work for Taiwan and Morocco created a conflict of interest for his brother, noting, quote, specifically, former Congressman Lincoln Diaz Ballard has never lobbied Congressman Mario Diaz Ballard on behalf of the client or the former client you refer to, or any client for that matter, end quote. And again, let's be clear, there is no law that prevents Mario Diaz Ballard from advocating for countries that are paying his brother for lobbying services. The question for his constituents is whether or not it is appropriate. And the executive director for the Center for Responsive Politics told me any controversy could have been avoided if Mario had publicly disclosed his brother's lobbying work himself years ago. The burden of disclosing it, she said, should have been on Mario. So, Jim, we hear their denials about that, but do we know if any of the countries that were accepting lobbying on, from Lincoln uh, Took, took that knowing that Mario was in Congress and because Mario was still in Congress? Good question, and that's one of the things we tried to get to. We don't know for sure if that was a factor that, that the group that Lincoln worked for, though, representing the government of Morocco, told me they hired Lincoln because of his experience in international affairs and that Mario had nothing to do with it. All right, Jim, thank you very much.